Hey, what's up guys? It's Sick, and today I want to go over the new MQ2 portal setter changes. So today is December 6th of 2021, and tomorrow we will have the new TOL expansion live. Uh, one of the things we have to update every year for uh, new live expansions is portal setter, because typically they add in a new uh, location. You can buy a little stone from the portal guy, and um, he'll send you there. So in the old uh, MQ2, in, in Legacy, uh, Portal Setter used uh, an XML window, uh, which is uh, it's a real pain to try and update um, and add stuff to. Um, everything is hard-coded. It's, it's really crappy. Somebody can have an out-of-date XML and not see the stuff. There's a whole lot of reasons why it really stinks. And uh, Knightley had a good suggestion when I said that I was going to update it to upgrade it to the DRM GUI stuff. Uh, we have available with MacroQuest next. So I'm going to show you what that looks like. So, you know, uh, MQ2 portal setter. Um, in MacroQuest next, you don't have to type in the MQ2. You can if you wish. So you can do plug in MQ2 portal setter, but we're just going to do a plug in portal setter. I already have it loaded. Now, if this was the old version and you were loading it for the first time, you would have to reload your UI uh, for that window to become available. But because we're implementing it in the DRM GUI, we don't have to do that here. Um, so I just open this guy and boom, I get the portal setter. Um, it's resizable. Um, you can drag it off screen um, if you have your, your settings set in a way that you can have, uh, you know, the little portal windows. Um, but if you notice here, I have it set so you can have uh, these minimized. So maybe you don't ever go to the older zones and it just takes up some visual space you don't really care about seeing. Uh, so you can just set this to just show the modern, which is like, it'll be the last four or five expansions depending on how many total things there are. I made it so it'll uh, magically know how many to put here. So this is always an even number. That way there's never like an oddball one sitting here that's like half and looks all stupid. Um, but you can also turn off the groupings. So let's say you, you think that idea is stupid, sick, you're an idiot, I hate you. Uh, you can click that off and boom, you have these suggestions like this. And you can also turn off the search thing uh, here if you don't like the search thing. Now I put the guild banner thing up at the top just to kind of keep in line with how things used to be in the old, uh, the old version. So the guild banner is always here. One of the to-do items I have on this is I want to be able to grab the guild banner location information, uh, which um, is not currently available and working, but it appears to be something that is possible in the future because that information is available in your guild window if your guild banner is placed. So what I'd like to be able to do is I'd like to be able to show guild banner and then, you know, parenthetically say what zone that, that banner is placed into so uh, you can, you can, you know, see where it's set. Um, the, there's a zone search bar. So let's say you don't re remember which button is whatever, or you just don't want to look at stuff. You hate looking at things. Um, you can do something like the long name, the greater fade dark, and, uh, it'll have the greater fade arc, or let's say you want to do cobalt scar. Now this is the short name. You notice there's no space there. So it'll show the old cobalt scar, or if you do two, Cobalt Scar 2, which is the short name for the COV Cobalt Scar. He'll buy this. So I'm going to click on that. He's going to buy the thing. He's going to hand it to the little uh, little portal dude, Reno, And then we can walk over here and do this. And I'm just doing this in the small guild hall for just display purposes or whatever. Um, but, you know, of course, this works in your, uh, your super sweet big guild hall. Um, but anyway exciting stuff the uh the stuff is already updated for the expansion for tomorrow so you guys will be able to hit the ground running um i look forward to the expansion and i hope you guys have a great time and hopefully this will make uh you know getting there and accessing that a little easier uh a bunch of us tried to get a, as much of this done before the expansion as possible so everybody could just hit the ground running and you know enjoy playing the game so uh best wishes tomorrow good luck on loot i will talk to you very very soon